YouTube, welcome back. GPK Forever with another video. And in today's video, you saw that correctly. I'm gonna hurry and be talking about what's going on with PSA as of right now, as of when this video is being posted in April. And then we'll also be talking about the box break coming up that you guys voted on. So let's get started. So first off, we'll hurry and start with the box break. So thank you, everyone who voted in the comments down below. Thank you so very much. It was really fun to see what box you guys would prefer to participate in for this upcoming box break. And the box that one is the Flashback Series 2 box, the hobby box. So we'll be box breaking that. Again, just to quickly remind you what kind of pulls you can get. You can get Atom Bomb cards, um, also with printing plates, sketch cards, and uh, the atom bombs and different parallels, different parallels and things like that. So that's kind of the big cards we'll be looking for in that box break. So if you're interested in the box break, uh, my email will be down in the description down below. Feel free to email me and I can get you more information. And again, thank you for everyone who is voting. We will be doing the box break on April 17th. So this upcoming Saturday. So we got about what, six days after today left and we'll be doing it about 1 p.m mountain standard time so uh, please mark that on your calendars that'd be awesome if we can see everyone there it's gonna be our first box break in a while and our first live stream in a while as well so it's gonna be a lot of fun hopefully we can pull atom bombs for people who are participating so again if you're interested email me in the comments down below now let's get into the topic of this video before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel when you do. We are so close. We are so close to 800 subscribers. That's awesome. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and help us get closer to 800 subscribers. And remember, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away an original OS2 Garbage Pell Kid card. That's right now still, cr still, oh, still getting rated by PSA. That will be given away to a subscriber. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. So into the topic of this video, what's going on with PSA? So if you guys haven't noticed, if you haven't uh, gone in to submit anything or, you know, anything like that, if you haven't heard any of the news, PSA has suspended all services. That's right. All services are suspended at PSA. So you can't right now send in a new submittal. You can't send in cards to go get PSA graded right now at this time because PSA is, you know, so far behind with the huge, huge demand that they had for grading cards and things like that. With the huge spike of last year with all the people getting back into trading cards and things like that, there's been a huge demand for grading and PSA has gotten such a huge demand that right now they had to suspend all of their services. Yeah, everything, everything, but I think the Super Express, which is $500, $500 for one card per card using that uh, service. Everything else is suspended and PSA, their goal right now is to hurry and get, get everything graded and be able to open up again by July 1st, right? So that that's good. Right? I think this is really responsible of PSA to say, hey, you know what? We, we, we're having a tough time keeping up with demand. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hurry and just stop right now. So we're not gonna accept any new orders. We're gonna hurry and focus on all the other orders we have and try to get those out because not gonna lie, me and Mr. D, we had a order that we sent all the way back in October, right? And it was supposed to be a 50 day turnaround, right? 50 business days. Here we are in April and it's months behind. And it's just like, That's what? what was entered. entered, yeah, yeah, it was entered in there. And then, you know, for the past couple months, it's been on research and ID, right? And we've been, we've been PSA grading for a while and we know that this is just super slow, right? It's, it's crazy what's going on. But no, I think this is a good thing that PSA is kind of taking responsibility in a way, said, hey, we know what's going on. We're gonna hurry, make things right. But at the same time, I don't know if PSA understands this, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be helpful. 
Because think about it this way. I'm doing this right now. I know other people are probably doing this right now. Everyone's starting to get orders together, right? Everyone's going through their cards and things like that, right? They're trying to put submissions together, trying to get certain cards together, right? Get all their basketball, all their garbage ball kids, all their Pokemon or baseball or football or hockey, right? Try to get them all organized so then as soon as PSA opens, to get them sent in. And I don't know if PSA has thought about this when they were going to do this, but I think they're going to have a huge flood of all these people, you know, because no one's been able to send in their cards for months. But as soon as they can, everyone's going to want to start sending stuff to PSA. So I don't I don't know if PSA has thought about that when they decided to make this decision. But I think that's something that PSA needs to keep in mind is that the longer that this is closed, the more and more cards people are going to have stocked up, right? Because I know there's people that do grading for a living, right? Because, you know, they have a lot of older graded cards and they're really good at what they do. So they, mm -hmm. with this closed and stuff, they're probably having like mountains of cards needing to be graded. And, you know, what, as soon as I first started this channel, I was really big into PSA grading. And I've, I've got cards from, you know, the very first videos from this channel that I haven't even gotten to submitting yet that eventually I would like to submit here, you know, within maybe the next few years. So that's kind of what's going on with PSA. And that's also what I kind of think, you know, PSA needs to keep an account for, right? And I also think maybe PSA at the same time, right? I know they're working on a skeleton crew on certain uh, facilities, right? Certain buildings in certain states, right? Because each state is different, right? Some states are fully opened, others are still opening, and everyone is somewhere in between those two. So I know that PSA right now, between all three different locations they have in the US, it's all different times and things like that. But what I think is maybe, maybe PSA should consider opening up another location, right? I know they just opened up the New Jersey one last year, but I think if maybe they had more locations to where they could have more places for people to send their cards, I think that would really help them out and things like that to where, you know, like California, that location is getting everything on the West Coast, right? So all my orders, they're all going there, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, like North Dakota, down all the way down to Texas. I'm pretty sure all that, all those submittals are going to the California one. While uh, on the east side of the United States, you have the one in Florida and New Jersey. So I just kind of think maybe PSA needs to open up another one, try to help, you know, try to get it to where it takes off some orders off of all their different locations. So yeah, that's what's been going on with PSA. What do you think? Do you think it's a positive thing that PSA is kind of taking responsibility and are shutting down? Do you think it was a good decision? Do you think it was a bad decision with all the collectors that want to get their stuff graded, right? With all the new sets coming out, right? With Sapphire, with Chrome 3, right? I don't think anyone's been able to send any Chrome 3 in, right? Or any of that stuff. But I know there's collectors out there that want to get stuff graded. Do you think it's a bad decision because then as soon as PSA, you know, is opened up, you're going to have a huge flood of cards going to them, showing up at their front door, like a mountain of boxes from everywhere because everyone wants to get things graded. Let me know in the comments down below. I would be really curious to see what you guys think. Um, like I said, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I hope this video just kind of helped you if you didn't really know what was going on with PSA to kind of explain what, what's kind of been going on here within, you know, for a little bit now. So thank you all for staying tuned. This is GPK forever. Having a fun time shooting the video. Don't forget to send me an email if you're interested in the box break coming up. GPK forever signing out.